Welcome, happy Mid-Autumn Festival. I'm Joy and welcome back to Qmic Weekly, where we talk about the latest deal prices and the news in China. So if you are new here, just hit the subscribe and like buttons right here. And don't miss out on any future updates. So let's check out the China steel prices first. This week, we can see a slight pickup in China's steel sport and the futures market after a sharp drop last week. This is mainly because from this month, which is the traditional peak season for most Chinese steel players, the demand and the trade activity for construction steel will gradually improve, which will drive the price to go up a little bit. As a result, we can see that this week, China's hot roll coil rose slightly by 10 yuan per ton this week, and the most active rebar on the Shanghai Futures Exchange only fell by 4 yuan per ton, compared with the drop of more than 400 yuan per ton last week. However, we must pay attention that China's steel export prices continue to soften. This week, the export price of hot rolled coil fell by 15 US dollars per ton. So why does the export steel market continue to be weak? Let's get the answer based on China's steel export data. In August, according to Chinese customs authorities, China's steel exports fell by nearly 7.8% month by month, hitting a new low in nearly four months. This means weak demand from overseas buyers against the backdrop of global inflation surge. Next, let's take a quick look at China's steel supply and demand conditions this week. Driven by the peak season this week, China's inventory continued to decline, has fallen faster than last week. In addition, the apparent consumption of steel has reached a new high in nearly 10 weeks, reaching more than 10 million tons. However, we can see that the growth rate of total output of Chinese steel mills has slowed down from last week due to the loss of profit margins for most producers. In a nutshell this week, market players are more inclined to be cautious amid the panic of global high inflation. So what does the market look like next week? From QMIX's point of view, next week we predict that the prices trend may be basically the same as this week and may continue to fluctuate within a narrow range. Well, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. Just hit the subscribe and like buttons right here. And finally, I would like to share with you that here in China as the Mid-Autumn Festival is just around the corner. The holiday is all about giving thanks as well as a reunion time with family. We wish you a very lovely weekend and a happy Mid-Autumn Festival. See you next week. Bye-bye.